welcome to this next Circus Skills Lucas Jet tutorial. I want to make these as fun and enjoyable for you as possible while you're on lockdown. So this video is circus tricks you can do at home right now. For this video you will need a broomstick, a toothbrush, you'll need a cap, a pile of coins, a hairdryer and a ping pong ball. Before all that though, we're going to do a really quick, we're going to learn a really quick magic trick that you can show your parents straight away. All you need is a scarf like this one. So you can play this trick on your parents maybe, you could walk up, and I'm gonna tell you a secret, you've got to keep it quiet, okay? So you tuck the scarf in down the front of your t-shirt like this. This is a revealing magic trick, so I'll probably get in trouble with magician. So the idea is you're making it look like the scarf is behind, behind your neck. Maybe with a jumper without a hood would look good. Do not wrap it round your neck and try and do this trick. Safety first, kids. So you walk up and you say, Mum, do you like my scarf? <laughs> nice simple magic trick. Very quick to learn, a little bit of fun for you. Silly trick time. Grab yourself the toothbrush. Make sure it's clean. Put your index finger out. Make sure it's clean as well. Balance the toothbrush like this. You're gonna try and spin it round. Spin, 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 spin. This is a good one. This is a good one, people. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh. Right, I have no idea what this trick is called, but I remember learning it when I was a kid. You need to ask your parents for some money. Now go easy on them, but maybe ask for 10 2p. I've got a little pile of coins here. Make a flat shape with your elbow. Balance the coins on there like that. And now your challenge is to see how many coins you can do it with. 2p is the best size because they're a nice size to catch. Please don't do it in front of your computer screen or in front of your TV or any sort of posh ornaments around your house because coins can go flying, especially when you're learning, okay? Maybe even just balancing it on your elbow like that's a bit hard. Standing over your bed might be a good way to do it. So Tricks with a cap. One of the things I perform most with is a jugging hat. So this is a circus hat. You can do loads of tricks. These hats are specially weighted for circus and for juggling. These caps are not, but that doesn't mean you can't learn some of the tricks. Trick number one, you're gonna hold your hand facing upwards. Put the hat in your hand like this, thumb on top, and you're gonna try and roll it, but without letting go of the cap. So it rolls up your arm and then onto your head. You go, roll on. Next trick is of a similar fashion. You're gonna hold your hand like this, thumb on top. You're gonna try and throw it and catch it on your head. With one full spin, Onto your head. Ta da! Ah-ha-ho! -ho! You're holding the rim of the cap this time. You bend over like you're taking a bow and you roll it up your back. You bend over like you're taking a bow and you roll it up your back. That's going to be really hard. That's going to take a lot of practice. No way we're about to do it. Just turn the video off now. I'm only joking, have a few goes, practice, 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 you never know what you can achieve. Oh, that's a nice one, isn't it? If you can pull off a backwards cap, which I definitely can't, you hold it in your hand like this, you do one flip, then spin on. Yeah, look at me, I'm young, I'm fresh, I'm down, oh god, I look terrible. Now, your trusty broomstick is going to give you a couple of tricks to learn. The first challenge is to learn to balance the broomstick on your hand. You might need to go outside to do this, or just make sure you've got plenty of ceiling height and I'm sure you'll be able to do it. You put your hand out flat like this, you put the broomstick on top of your hand. What you're trying to do is to keep your hand directly underneath the top of the broomstick. So by watching around the top of the broomstick, you know where to move your hand to keep it straight. Looking at the top, see if you can balance it. Look at the top, look at the top. If you're feeling clever, you can hop it and turn your hand upside down, out. Don't do that, that hurt. You can try and hop and change hands. If you're feeling extra clever, you could try and balance it on your foot. So you're balancing on one leg, looking at the top, and then you've got to see if you can keep your foot underneath the top of the broomstick. But that's hard because it's a double balance. Second broomstick trick. You're gonna hold your hands loosely and you're gonna try and jump through the broomstick. I will stress, this can be a little bit dangerous, so hold it really loosely, but don't be scared. It's all about going for it, fully commit to it. Make sure you've got lots of space for this one. Maybe go outside if you've got a garden. 
or just in a nice open area. No tables around you, okay? We don't want any falls. Hold the stick loosely, so if you hit it, it just knocks out of your hand and you start again. Hands like this, jump through, catch. Now, this next broomstick trick I can't actually do anymore. You may ask why I'm putting it in the video, but I think a lot of you out there in the interweb will be able to do it. You're gonna be younger and more supple than I am. For this trick, your hands have to be facing up. But hold the broomstick like this, and what you do is you step through the middle. So you're gonna go, step, and then the second one goes through. Keeping your hands facing up, you're gonna bring your hands over there like that. Now you can see I'm already struggling. The next stage is to bring your foot around the outside, and in there. The final stage is to bring the broomstick over your head without letting go of the stick. So imagine I've not let go, it goes. The idea is you end up over there, and then the final bit is you step back to here. But unfortunately I can't show you that anymore. Maybe one of you guys can do it. Look up walking through a broomstick. I'm sure there's someone on YouTube somewhere that knows what it is. Okay, that's loads of new tricks for you to learn. So I want you to go out and practice, see what you can do. Leave me a comment below about how you get on and enjoy. Keep subscribed. Look out for the next video coming in the next couple of days. Thank you very much.